All right, Ben, thanks. Citations may be up, but in some cases, officers are hauling drivers to jail after police say they refuse to stop. There were three police chases in less than four hours just last night in Milwaukee. And we've seen reports of nearly a dozen chases since the start of the new year. That was just 11 days ago. Julia Fellow looks at the reasons behind these pursuits. One of the police chases came to a violent end last night, right here in this heavily residential area of the Harambe neighborhood, where the person who was fleeing from police slammed into a parked car. Luckily, no one was in the parked car when the crash happened last night. Police say the 31-year-old suspect was arrested. I'm not surprised. Ruby Hunter saw the commotion afterwards. Just police, lights, traffic, speeders. And there were two more police chases in Milwaukee last night. On the south side near 5th and Holt, a fleeing car went over a curb and became disabled, ending the chase. Mud on the sidewalk shows the aftermath. Police say three men were arrested. And a man wanted for a violent crime was chased by police last night. It came to an end after police say the 34-year-old slammed his car into a median near Tetonia and Hampton. From the information Milwaukee police have shared with us, there have been at least 11 police chases since the start of this year. As you can see, it's happening all hours, all over the city, with suspects ranging in age from just 16 to 51 years old. Police say at least four of these chases started because of reckless driving. Milwaukee's pursuit policy has evolved over the years. Prior to 2017, officers could only chase a car if they had probable cause people inside were involved in a violent felony. Today, it has expanded to cracking down on drug dealing and reckless driving. And it doesn't come without risks. The most serious happened just five days ago. It started in Sherman Park, but quickly came to an end when police say suspects began to fire several gunshots at the officers. The stolen car out of West Bend was later found abandoned, and at last check, the suspects were still on the loose. How do we stop this from happening? I think the police are doing a good job because when I came down 35th this morning, they went down 27th Street. It was like a cop every other block, and, it, and the 27th Street was lit up because they was coming constantly pulling people over. Something police hope will be in the minds of drivers to make the right decisions to keep our community safer. Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. Now, police were not available for an interview today and could not answer if there have been more chases recently. The outcome of those cases Julia just mentioned are still with the courts. A person convicted of fleeing police could face anywhere from one to 10 years behind bars, just depending on the severity. And we need your help to bring awareness to reckless driving problems in the city of Milwaukee. Scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen there. It will take you to projectdrivesafer.com. There you can send us a message with your ideas and potential solutions.